Welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm going to make a short video on cutting some things open. I got a few things laying around that I felt like might be fun to cut open and I'm going to cut up with some of that red horn coral, right? Okay, let's take a look here. I have some hearing protection because the uh, tile saw can get pretty loud. Some eye protection and an apron basically to help keep the water off me. I have a few things in here to cut. We've got a few geodes, some red horn coral, and a few odds and ends that we're gonna cut into and just see what we find. Let's get cutting. Okay, I've got all my protective gear on. Let's get started on the first one. All right, let's go ahead and start off with the geode. Let's see what's in it. bad that's how she looks now don't worry if you can't see it very good right now I am going to show some nice close-up pictures at the end of the video okay so stay to the end and you'll see some nice close-up pictures of these so you can see them better all right let's do another geo All right, this one is more like a thunder egg. It's all filled in. It's pretty though. Now, some of you might think, whoa, I'm getting my hands so close to the saw. Technically, it's not a saw, it's a grinder. It's a very thin grinder, it's just grinding the rock away. So it can't cut you, it'll just slowly grind your finger away. So don't hold your finger on it. But it's not very dangerous. All right, let's try a piece of red horn coral. That looks pretty. Look at that. Now it kind of broke off right at the end. So maybe I'll try and clean that up a little bit. There. That looks a little better, don't it? Eventually I'll grind it down and polish it. That'll be down the road though. I don't have the equipment for that yet. All right, next up, we'll do another geode. Okay, that one looks a bit more like a geode, doesn't it? Better, better than the other ones, so far as geodes. All right. Let's try another piece of red horn coral. Hey, this one's really nice. Take a look at that. Cool. Nice. Okay, let's do a different one this time. Let's do this. This is some uh, Picasso marble. It comes from Southern Utah. I collect this a long time ago when I was going to school down there. Anyway, Let's see how the Picasso marble looks after we cut it. Ooh, smell that sulfur in there. All right, there she is. Pretty rock, isn't it? I have some better pieces, but they're much bigger, and I won't be able to cut those until I have a bigger saw. But for now, that's what we got. All right, let's do some more red horn coral. Hmm. 
Now, unfortunately, sometimes you get a piece of coral that doesn't have very much red in it. It happens. Okay, let's do another geode. Huh, look at that geode. It's got something yellow in it. Hmm, might be like calcite or just clay even. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Got another interesting one right here. Looks like a, maybe a piece of moss agate. Let's cut it open and see what it's like. Well, look at that. Definitely very mossy. It's more like a moss jasper than a moss agate, but still, pretty cool. Okay, last one is a geode. Last cutter, last geode, here we go. All right, I cut open the last one and it turns out it's it's a thunder egg again. Not bad. Looks pretty nice. That's all of them. All right, just finished cutting everything open. There were some good things in there, some not so good things. But let's go ahead and take a look at them all nicely cleaned up and a nice close-up picture. So when you cut them, it leaves a lot of little basically dust pieces from the grinding on it and it's hard to see without getting it wet. So the pictures I'm gonna take are gonna be with water on them, so you can see kind of what it would look like if it was polished. So let's go ahead and show you those close-ups. That's all the specimens. Some of them are pretty nice, maybe some not so nice. Overall, not a bad day, and it's always just fun and relaxing to cut them open. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you maybe learned a few things, and I'll see you on the next video.